Hello, Serious Survivor here. And this is the first video in the gear and gadget series. And what we're gonna look at today is some first aid gear. These are really simple devices, but there's something I've grown to really like, and I keep a lot of these around my house. Um, and that's these two pre-filled Q-tips that you see here, just your regular Q-tip, but they're pre-filled. This one's filled with iodine, and this one is filled with rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol disinfectant. And these devices, I've actually used them. Uh, my kids play football, you know, we're all active and cuts and scrapes are a normal part of what we see around here. So I've used these quite a bit and they perform exactly as expected. But one of the things I really do like about them is the price. They're, they're very cheap on eBay. I'll leave a link in the description below. But let's open one up and see how well it comes out. All right, but first, as you can see here, you got just the Q-tip ends on both ends. And then the tube is clear. You can see through it and it has rubbing alcohol in it. I'm not sure how well it comes out on the camera there, but when you open them up, you can really see it. So I'm gonna open these up. Now it has a blue line on one end and that's the end that you're supposed to pop open here. All you do is crack the tip right here, crack the tip, and then the alcohol will absorb into the Q-tip end and you can clean your wounds. So I'm gonna crack it. Cracks pretty easy. And here we can see the alcohol rubbing here. Now, this is actually, uh, you know, it's, it's a very inexpensive tool, but it's something that I really do recommend keeping in first aid kits. It's a lot faster when you have these that you can just snap one and start cleaning a wound than trying to get your bottle of alcohol out and, you know, your wipes, your disinfectant wipes and all that. But they work pretty good. And here for the iodine. Same thing with this one, except for this, you can see the end that you break is marked with a almost reddish orangish type of line. So if we pop it, and let's see how the iodine comes out, and there we go. So you can dispense the product with the broken side here, cover the area, the exposed area, and then you still have the other side that you can come back and wipe off the excess with. So it's just two really cool little pieces of first aid gear that I that I like. Uh, I got an in-depth first aid video that I'm working on right now. I should have out before the weekend or probably early next week. And that's building a long-term first aid survival kit. And this kit's gonna be geared at giving us the equipment that we need to not only treat wounds in the immediate aftermath of any type of event, but to give us the tools and accessories we would need to help ensure the best health and to take care of emergency situations. But these are two things that uh, I do, I do actually highly recommend these. And that's just simply due to what they are, the convenience of them, and the price is another amazing factor. Um, they were pretty cheap. I paid less bucks, maybe 20 bucks. I'll put the link in the description below. But when putting together a first aid kit, this is something that you know you could take into account and could consider putting in. But the only drawback to these is what we saw is that if you know they do get crushed, if they do get crushed, then the alcohol is going to leak out. And the same with the iodine here. If they do get crushed, the iodine is going to leak out. But uh, that would just you know illustrate the need to keep these in some type of sturdy little box or sturdy little container. And, but you can keep them in something you know similar to this. Like I take this small little boxes that I get because you get these uh, cheap little first aid kits. You know, they're not that much and they don't really have that many supplies in it. So I always prefer to build my own. So I usually use the box to store stuff like this in. I use these type of boxes, and I could actually keep a lot of these in here. Keep them in here, keep them nice and sturdy as we can see. And now with this, you know, you could just fold it. That's just something, you can put it in anything you want, but I would recommend carrying them in something like this so that they don't break open. But great little product. Uh, check out the links in the description below. We've got a lot more videos coming out on uh, the gear and gadget series. So make sure you check out the channel and thanks a lot for watching. Hope it helps. Serious Survivor, out.